Hi everyone, I'm Julie Brown and welcome back to my channel. If you've not been here before, then I'm a business coach and a publicity expert and I absolutely love getting my clients featured in the press. That's what I'm all about. Today I want to talk to you about something I get asked about a lot and that's how to write a press release for a small business. Lots of people want to know how to do this and I just thought that I would run through with you a few tips and tricks to get you on your way. So starting from the top, what is a press release? Now that may sound a really simple question, but a lot of people seem to get confused about what a press release is. And it's this, it's an announcement, really. It's a piece of news, it's an event, it's something new. It's basically something that's newsworthy. So it's not a story, it's not a feature, it's it's just announcing something to the world. That's what a press release is. Now, when it comes to writing press releases, the most important thing is the headline. What you're looking for here is a simple headline, but it has to be catchy and it has to be striking. You don't want any puns in there, any cliches, any alliterations, just something that's gonna catch the editor's eye. And really what you need to do is take a bit of time over this. Do a little bit of brainstorming or journaling, whatever helps you best. Look at other publications, look online, see what headlines are being used there, and then just put something absolutely amazing together, quite short. Now, after the headline comes the killer first line. So this is the first thing that the journalist is going to read after your headline. And you want to make that quite short. And again, it needs to be a killer first line, something that's really going to impress them and going to make them want to read on. Now the reason this is so important, the headline and the killer first line, is you may not realise it but journalists get hundreds of press releases every day and I mean hundreds. When I was editing I was getting five, six hundred emails a day. Most of them from people wanting me to feature them in their, in the press, in my magazine and to be honest a lot of them were absolutely rubbish and I didn't have time to, to read all of those. So if the headline wasn't catchy in the um, subject header and the first line wasn't good in the body of the email, then it would be just trashed. I wouldn't even bother reading on. So this is why it's so important to get this right. So next comes a little more detail. What What is it that you're wanting to talk about? What's the hook? What's going to make the journalist think, yeah, this is good for my audience, I'm going to feature it. And journalists really like you to do the whole what, where, why, who and when, it's the, the W's as they call them, because that just gives them the whole story. And that's what a press release should do really, just tell the editor what they need to know about what it is you're putting out there. You don't need a lot of detail, a press release should never really be that long. Yes, you want to get the information in there that you need to get across, but without just waffling on. So something nice and short here. I'd urge you to write in the present or future tense, because with press releases, anything that's already happened, the press are not likely to be that interested in. Obviously, if it's something that's just happened, as in it's happening now or it's just happened, then yes. But if you're talking about an event that happened a month ago or three weeks ago, they're probably not going to be interested in that. It's happened and you need to move on. If it's an event that's about to happen, then obviously they're much more interested in that. So things that are present or in the future and much more likely to get the notice from the editor that it deserves. Now, if your press release is too generic, then that's another reason why the editor might just press the delete button. You've got to be specific in what you're saying. If you can't say anything specific, then you don't have a new story, so move on to the next one. Really don't waste your time writing something that you haven't got the specifics on. You want to put a quote in there, if possible, from you, obviously, or if it's somebody that you've interviewed, or anybody else that's involved in the story, then it's always useful to get a quote. That just brings the press release to life and it's well worth spending a bit of time to get a really good quote. Now, my next tip is to contact the right person. Sending your press release into just generically the magazine or the radio show means that it's likely to go astray or somebody might pick it up that isn't the right person to make the decision about whether they want to run this or not and it may just never get to where it needs to be. So work hard at finding the right person to contact. You can do that online or using social media. If you get really stuck, there's usually a reception area at a publishing house or a, a media outlet or a, a BBC Broadcasting 
wherever you're going, just ring the receptionist and ask them and I'm sure they will be delighted to give you the right people to send it to. It's just like being a bit of an investigator really, you've just got to keep looking and you'll, you'll find the right person. Now one thing that's really important in the main body of the press release is not to talk about yourself too much, if at all. They want to know what the newsworthy thing is that you, you are talking about and the newsworthy thing that you want to go into their publication. And they're not really at this point that, interest, that interested in you. So what I suggest is you put a notes to editor at the end. And that's where you can put things like the fact that you've got photographs, if you have, and you can let them have them, um, who you are, where you're based, your um, con contact details, your website address, your email address, whatever you want really goes into um, the end there, notes to editors. Again, don't make it too long. They only need brief details because if they want any more, they'll contact you. So you just want to make sure that they know how to contact you if that's the case. The best thing to think about when you're writing a press release is a, a triangle, but an inverted triangle with a wide base at the top going down to a smaller point at the bottom. So you want to get all your really juicy, good information at the top in the wide bit. This is the bit that's going to hook the journalist in. Then as you go down that triangle, it gets less and less and less important to you just taper out. Because what, what often happens is the journalist will read the first line or two, and that's when they will decide if they're interested in this. And if you put too much waffle at the top and too much information that's not really that important again they may just pass it over so you want your most important important information at the top tailor enough because they may only read halfway down and then make a decision so if you put all the important stuff at the bottom and, and the not important stuff at the top you're doing yourself a disservice really so all the important stuff goes at the top and then tailor it off to the bottom i hope that makes sense so there you have it those are my top tips for writing a press release now, a lot of the reasons why business owners don't contact the press to start with and why they certainly don't write press releases or pictures into the press is because they lack confidence. And this is not unusual. So if it's you, you sat at home, quivering along, thinking, I can't, can't contact the press, then you're not alone. So that in mind, I've developed a guide to increasing your confidence, boosting your confidence. It's quite short, succinct, but full of great information. And I'll link the details below so that you can grab yourself a copy of that it's free so head over there if you're feeling a little bit wobbly and grab yourself my little guide so i hope you found that useful everybody and any questions just put them in the comments below and i will get back to you with the answers see you soon guys